on Saturday, June 4th, in a game against the Yankees, uh, you and some of your teammates chose not to wear a, a hat that the team was wearing and a patch on your uniform. And that patch and that hat were related to LGBTQ Pride Month, uh, which I think by now we all know that that is held in June. Uh, there's another LGBT month in October. That's LGBT History Month. I've learned the differences here. Uh, but but essentially, uh, LGBTQ Pride Month was started under Clinton in 1999. I did a little history to try to figure out when did all this start. And it was also recognized by Obama and a little bit kind of indirectly by President Trump. But Major League Baseball has gone all in on it, it seems like. Uh, and different teams are, are hosting or celebrating this Pride Month in different ways. There are three teams, your Tampa Bay Rays, the Dodgers and the Giants that incorporated pride into their uniform in some way. The rainbow colors is what I mean by pride. They put them in their uniform. And so the Rays had a rainbow colored patch on the shoulder, the sleeve of the uniform and a logo on the hat. So you, along with your teammates, Jeffrey Springs, Ryan Thompson, Brooks Raley and Jalen Beeks, I decided that you were not going to wear that hat and you didn't want to wear that patch. So how did you guys make that decision together? Is that something you'd been talking about leading up to this? Like yeah. you saw this coming or how does that conversation go down with you guys that you make this big decision? Yeah, there was a ton of conversation. And and to, to start it all off too, the team was aware. There was really like 10 to 15 guys that weren't comfortable wearing it. Um, and preferred not to. So they came out and they just basically said to us, like, hey, how we're going to handle it is we're going to provide the hat as an option and you can wear it or not wear it. Um, <clears throat> and so once they provided it as an option, I felt like that kind of removed um, the pressure. But I didn't feel like I was defying um, but the people higher than me. Um, and we felt like, you know what, if we have the option, we probably should choose not to just – just to not encourage um, the pride and encourage the acting on those uh, those desires. But uh, it was a tough conversation. We had conversations with our our president um, of the team, our executive, like the uh, inc director of inclusivity, and they were all they were all supportive. So it was actually really cool conversations um, with people who we probably don't line up with. Um, on all our values, but people who still respected each other enough to have conversation. And we had the team's full support, the clubhouse's full support. Um, so it became a decision that wasn't, I guess, easy because we knew what was going to come from it, but uh, it became clear. Okay, so that's good to hear that the team provided space for you to uh, make your own choices. And everybody on the team got to make their own choices about whether they wanted to wear this patch and wear this hat with the rainbow colors on it. And you said that that there were 10 to 15 guys who weren't sure exactly what they wanted to do and how they wanted to handle it. Is this a conversation you have like when you're shagging pop flies? Is it? Did you have a big team meeting about it? I mean, is this over dinner? How does this go down? Like, what kinds of issues are you yeah. guys all talking about as a, as a team? And maybe those 10 to 15 guys specifically. Yeah, yeah. You, you talk all the time. You talk in the clubhouse, like you said, shagging fly balls. There's a, that's like the best time to talk. Um, and then, too, I think we had, <clears throat> we had a few meetings um, with, with the uh, staff of the team just talking about like, hey, what do you think about this? And they're being like, well, this is, you know, like helping understand where we're coming from and then them helping us understand where they're coming from and their, their reason for wanting to do it. Um, because, you know, it's, it sounds crazy, but I think two reasonable people can have disagreeing opinions and have a fine conversation. Wow. That's, that's revolutionary <laughs> right there because in our world, it doesn't seem to happen very much, does it? So, so did you have conversations with people on the team that you disagreed with on this issue? And, and in just one moment, I, I want to read your statement, what you ended up saying uh, publicly about it. But, but before we get to that, were you kind of going back and forth with guys who maybe didn't see it from your perspective? Yeah, for sure. And, and really even more so since after this has all happened, I've had and I think I might have said that in the interview. I don't know if it got printed, but just like that's the one one of the pros that one of the reasons I'm really glad they 
this all happened was because I had conversations, like deep conversations with people on the opposite end of the spectrum, whether they were atheist or whatever, that I never probably would have had otherwise. So I, I had conversations with people who strongly disagree. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to name names or anything, but just sure. great conversations that were really encouraging for just the direction of our world. Yeah. Um, and just, and yeah, so it, it was fun. Well, I think we've heard about plenty of situations where maybe a teammate was ostracized because they were different or held different beliefs. So it sounds like that's not what happened in your locker room, that there was the room to have conversations about tough subjects, subjects that not everybody agrees on, and still be a part of the same team. So it didn't create any kind of division. It sounds like maybe even it brought people together. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I, I would definitely say it has. It brought it brought uh, some unity to the clubhouse. The fact that, <clears throat> wow, I'm more than just a guy that we joke around with now. Now I, I know that guy deeper, um, and I still care for him and love him just as much as I did before, if not more. So I thought it was really cool.